Good evening and happy Friday, everybody. Welcome to the Chris Salcedo Show on Newsmax TV. Yesterday, we detailed controversial emails from, from his eminence, Dr. Anthony Fauci. In short, the emails revealed that Dr. Fauci was telling America and the world one thing, while behind the scenes, he was saying something different or getting information that didn't match his on-camera rhetoric. In what's turning out to be a massive scandal, America is realizing that a cabal of left-wingers made up of so-called news organizations, Dr. Fauci and the head of groups like EcoHealth Alliance, successfully and without scientific evidence, branded the lab leak explanation of the China virus origins as a, quote, conspiracy theory. Now that the truth is coming out, that a lab leak is a very much a plausible scenario. Those who have a vested interest in maintaining the previous fiction are doing their very best to shelter themselves from any liability, even going so far as to defend our enemy. Doubling down on communist China, the disgraceful lengths that one worlders will go to in tonight's preamble. As we mentioned yesterday, Dr. Fauci has run to left-wing media sources to try and insulate himself from the fallout from his emails. Dr. Fauci took to the airwaves at MSNBC, claiming that if we want China to open up and allow us to investigate the origins of the China virus, we can't accuse them of anything. Watch. I mean, it's obviously in China's interest to find out exactly what it is. And the is of the, of the natural theory would be to find that link. So you have to keep looking for it. I mean, obviously, you want openness and cooperation. One of the ways you can get it is don't be accusatory. Try to get both a forensic, a scientific, and an investigational approach. I think the accusatory part about it is only going to get them to pull back even more. Okay, who knew? All we got to do is to not be accusatory, and the communist Chinese are going to open up like a book. Only one problem with this, Dr. Fauci, uh, they've shut down. They've shut down all investigations. The world has zero access. Now, in that same soundbite you just heard, Fauci admits that China is already closed, and then he says, well, they'll close even more if we accuse them of hiding something, which is exactly what they're doing. Question. If the China virus really did jump from bats to humans naturally, why would communist China be thwarting the world's investigations, Dr. Fauci? To his credit, Willie Geist over there at MSNBC pressed Fauci because even the folks at MSNBC don't trust China as much as Dr. Fauci seems to. You say it's in China's interest, though. Would you agree, though, Dr. Fauci, it is in their interest to hide it if there was a lab leak or worse, if they were designing something in their lab so that the world, that America didn't know that it came out of their own lab? Wouldn't they want to conceal that? You know, Willie, I don't want to be speculating on that because every time I say something like that, it, you know it as well as I. It will get completely taken out of context and go into the Twitter world like crazy. So, I mean, I'm going to leave that to other people and not surmise and guess whose interest it is. It's not helpful. Uh-huh. Wait. When, when Fauci is asked about China, if they're guilty of wanting to hide information from the world about their liability for the pandemic, he clams up. He refuses to answer. But when it comes to talking about how great China's scientists are, well, Fauci is effusive. So you don't think the Chinese would lie to you? Well, when you say the Chinese, the Chinese are a rather broad group. I know the scientists that we've dealt with have been trustworthy. Mm -hmm. You think all the scientists... Uh, have told the truth in terms of the origin of the Wuhan virus and not been influenced by the Communist Party of China, do you? I don't have enough insight into the Communist Party in China to know the interactions right. between them and the scientists, sir. <laughs> oh, that's right. Fauci, who admits under oath that he has no idea about the interactions between the filthy and disgusting communist government of China and their scientists, saw fit to give Chinese scientists American taxpayers' money. Well, let's examine the fine people in China's government, shall we? The government has recently lifted their two-child policy that used to be the one-child policy. If Chinese citizens were caught having more children than the government allowed, government would force abortions onto their women. The Chinese government currently enslaves three million human beings. They put them to work camps. 
where the Uyghurs are tortured, brutalized, and murdered. Yet Fauci was willing to give American taxpayer dollars to scientists who are under the rule of such a government. Does that sound like a smart guy to you? Next, Dr. Fauci sought refuge over at CNN, a cable channel that is enduring some massive viewer turnout since Biden's installation. Here, Fauci introduces a straw man argument in an effort to defend the communist Chinese government. I don't remember what's in that redacted, but there, I mean, the idea, I think, is quite far fetched that the Chinese deliberately engineered something so that they could kill themselves as well as other people. Uh, I, I think that's a bit far out, John. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I thought Fauci claimed not to know about the communist Chinese government. But let's dissect his argument. It is the ultimate straw man argument here, folks. Those who are seeking the origins of the China virus are contending the virus could have evolved from bats, but also they are saying that the virus could have also escaped containment as it was being researched at the Wuhan Institute of Virology. Nobody has claimed that China sought to kill their own people. By the way, lab leaks in China are common. They happen all the time. Nobody accused China of wanting to kill their own people. Just that the communists are lazy thieves who steal their technology and they cut corners on safety. That's all we accuse them of. Now, a real scientist recently revealed as much at CBS. That's right. These kinds of lab leaks happen all the time, uh, actually. Even here in the United States, we've had mishaps. And in China, the last six known outbreaks of SARS-1 have been out of labs, including the last known outbreak, which was a pretty um, extensive outbreak that China initially wouldn't disclose that it came out of a lab. It was, only for the, it was only disclosed finally by some journalists that were able to trace that outbreak back to a laboratory. Now, that brings up another question. If lab leaks happen all the time, particularly in China, then why was EcoHealth Alliance, Dr. Fauci, and the left-wing press so quick to dismiss a lab leak scenario in the China virus pandemic? Could it be that anything that detracted from Donald Trump being exclusively responsible for the China virus, however scientific and credible, would be dismissed for political reasons? But what about Fauci's lack of imagination about China having a bioweapons program. The same people who were calling the lab leak theory a conspiracy theory are also saying with a straight face that the sainted communist Chinese, the ones who were the biggest human rights abusers on the planet, would never dream of creating a bioweapons program. Now, this fantasy is being perpetuated with no pushback over at Fox. The problem is, and I've done this myself, it's we can't conflate the conspiracy theories that were going around, people saying it was a bioweapon, with the legitimate question of whether there was some kind of lax safety procedure in that lab where they were working with these kind of viruses, and that's how the pandemic might have originated. Isn't it amazing how much faith left-wingers place in brutal totalitarian regimes? Mara Eliasson there of NPR must not have read the leaked memo from communist China. This memo, written by Dr. Fauci's trusted communist scientists, was titled The Unnatural Origin of SARS and New Species of Man-Made Viruses as Genetic Bioweapons. The 2015 document, on Barack Obama's and Joe Biden's watch, by the way, discussed the weaponization of the SARS coronaviruses. It postulates a World War III scenario fought with biological weapons. Perhaps Mara ought to be a little more careful in light of recent events when she starts throwing the phrase conspiracy theory around. But just how far are these leftists willing to go to suppress the facts? Consider the case of uh, former CDC director, Dr. Paul Redfield. He told Vanity Fair that he received death threats from other scientists after telling CNN in March that he believes the China virus accidentally escaped from the Wuhan Institute of Virology. Now, what would possess a scientist to threaten the life of another scientist? That doesn't sound like science to me. In my opinion, it sounds like those scientists, perhaps scientists in Dr. Fauci's orbit, are making a lot of money off communist China. And they don't want Dr. Redfield or Dr. Scott Gottlieb or anybody else getting between them and their sizable payoffs in blood money. And that leads us to the biggest China apologist of all. 
His detractors don't call him Beijing Biden for nothing. Given all the lies, flip-flops, inconsistencies, and defense of America's enemies, this is what Biden told reporters about Dr. Fauci. Yes, I'm very confident, Dr. Fauci. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm very confident, Dr. Fauci. And why wouldn't Biden keep Fauci on? He's a useful idiot who's on the same mission as Biden, serving communist China. So what's really going on here? Here's what I think. I think Dr. Fauci, special interest groups that get money from Dr. Fauci, some of the left-wing media and a majority of socialist Democrats have been caught in a lie. Some would call it a big lie. They've been caught in a lie of omission or a lie by suppressing a fact pattern that could lead to discovering that China is a key player in the release and spread of the China virus, creating the worldwide pandemic. Now, some of these players are motivated by greed, others by left-wing ideology. Still others are just too stupid to know they're being played. Either way, America can't afford these people anymore. They are a threat to our lives, liberty, and the truth. It's time Americans insist on a change. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.